Hello and welcome. We'll be going over the introduction to the Logzilla event correlation. For those unfamiliar, Logzilla is a network event orchestrator. What this means is that Logzilla watches information streams, such as log files, deduplicates, filters, and parses the log event messages. And it will react to those events in real time, from sending out email alerts up to and including automatically remediating problem conditions. For this video, we'll be talking about how you can use event correlation with Logzilla. Event correlation is when you need to keep track of more than one logged event. This is useful, for example, if you only want an alert if there are more than three failed login attempts, or if a network interface has gone down and has not come back up within 60 seconds. The categories of event correlation are, and the way it can work is, event triggers, when to correlate, event filters, what to correlate, event pairing, associations between multiple events, event suppression, what to ignore, time-based, window of time before something becomes important or no longer important. So as far as how it works, Logzilla interfaces with Simple Event Correlator or SEC. We send all events to Logzilla first. This allows Logzilla to filter for only messages of interest, which reduces the traffic going to the event correlator to a manageable level. In a bit more detail, here's the various scenarios that event correlator can handle. Single, match input event and execute an action immediately. Single with script, match input event and depending on the exit value of an external script, execute an action. Single with suppress, match input event and execute an action immediately but ignore subsequent matches events for the next t seconds. Pair, match input event, execute an action immediately, and ignore subsequent matching events until some other input event arrives. Upon the arrival of that second event, execute another action. Pair with window, match input event and wait t seconds for some other input event to arrive. If that next event is not observed within a given time window, execute an action. If that next event arrives on time, execute another action. Single with threshold. Count matching input events during t seconds. If the given t threshold is exceeded, execute an action and ignore all matching events during the rest of the specified time window. Single with two thresholds. Count matching input events during t seconds. If given threshold is exceeded, execute an action and start counting matching events again. If the matching event counter per t2 seconds drops below the second threshold, execute another action. Suppress. Suppress matching input events, used to keep the events from being matched by later rules. Calendar. Execute an action only at specific times. Note that there are two ways to make things happen when the desired event correlations occur. You can have the event correlator send messages back to Logzilla so that Logzilla can do all of its standard actions, such as displaying and triggering. Also, you can have the correlator perform actions on its own, such as sending emails. In order for the integration to work, Logzilla has to be configured as a forwarder so that Logzilla can filter and normalize the incoming events before they get to the event correlator. The details of that configuration aren't covered here but they are available in the Logzilla documentation section 11. Once Logzilla has been configured to forward the appropriate events to the event correlator, the event correlator must be given its own rules regarding how the event correlation should work. We'll go over a correlation that's in the documentation so that you can reference it as desired. Section 8.3 describes three event correlation rules that work together as a group. This is what you'd put in the event correlation rule configuration file. The desired behavior here is about letting the administrator know when Cisco networking equipment gets reloaded or restarted. The first part of this process is just that simply when the event correlator receives, via Logzilla, a log event that a router has reloaded, it emails the administrator. This correlation is just to watch for a single event and then email an appropriate message to the administrator. The second rule in this group is to watch for a router reload and wait to see if subsequently there's a restart event within the next 300 seconds. If not, the correlator will send an email to the administrator. The last rule in the group is to watch for a restart event that was not preceded by a reload event. 
If neither of the first two rules handles a reload restart event, then this must be a restart on its own, so email the administrator. As mentioned in documentation section 8.4, there is a particular Logzilla and event correlator configuration that can correlate logged events for Windows 2. The configuration is slightly different, but then it can do the same types of event correlation behavior on Windows events. Okay, well that's Logzilla event correlation. Please feel free to contact us on our website, logzilla.net. We'd be happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching.